friends, it's Michelle Smith with Marstown TV today, and I'm doing what I want to consider a little bit of a follow-up on an organization that I know you have heard me talk about before, and it is very near and dear to my heart. It's Serenity House. Uh, Serenity House, it's here located on Kennedy and Lincoln, the corner of. It is a United Way agency. It's a nonprofit agency. And anyway, Stephanie Hamill, the executive director, she and I have been on here talking about camp hugs and, and ways you can volunteer and stuff but I just so happen to have a very precious friend who resides here in what I call her presidential suite and you know what I think it would be really nice to actually hear from her and let her tell you in her own words a little bit about Serenity House what it means to her and, and what it means to her family let me introduce you to this wonderful friend of mine her name is Miss Ann Smith now we are not related by last name but I would like to think we're related because we have a connection in my little dog Dick Dixie. She was originally my little Dixie girl's mama. And thank you so much for letting me and Channel 7 come in and talk to you today. I appreciate you coming. Well, you were just, you were just, you were such a joy. I have just loved from the minute we first met. You have been such a delight to me. But, oh, and I have told her she can be Gloria Swanson for her close-up if she chooses. But, but if you would, look how pretty she is. If you would, let's talk just a little bit about how you came to be here in the presidential suite at Serenity House. I went for a biopsy on my lung because I have new tumors there. I also have a new tumor in my breast. And I can't have surgery because it's small cell cancer. So my, when they went to biopsy my... Uh, what they had found. <laughs> what they, oh, and this is her daughter, Teresa. She'll be on the sidelines. So we, let's just say when they went to biopsy, what they had found. How's that? My blood oxygen level dropped to 14, which is almost unheard of. So they had to immediately stop the procedure, put me in intensive care, where I stayed for 14 days, 12, 14 days. And then they sent me home, said, there's nothing else we can do for you. And they suggested hospice. And uh, I said, no. So we go home. And I looked at her. She sat two nights in a chair beside my bed and exhausted and she lives in South Carolina so she's come in here away from all her family her job everything and trying to tolerate me yeah but now you're a mama you come first I'm sure of that but uh Anyhow, I, when I looked at her and saw that tired little face, I thought, you know, I need to go give her a break. So I didn't know what to expect. Scared to death, they brought me in an ambulance. And uh, when I got in here, I was totally surprised. You have this little... I'm trying to keep up with you with the microphone. That's your little personal, we'll call it doorbell maybe? Well, you push that, and within three seconds, they'll be at that door. And uh, they don't serve meals here. You tell them what you want to eat and when you want to eat it. And it doesn't have to be the same thing she wants, the other patient. This is just a two-patient facility, so which makes it very personal. And, uh, well, it's the best place in the world to be if you need a home away from home. Well, you know, and I'll give you a chance to catch your breath a little bit. I know the first time I came to Serenity House, when I walked in the door, I didn't, I'm like you, I didn't know what to expect. And I can honestly say it just hit me in the face like a ton of bricks. God was all over this place. Very warm, very loving. The staff is amazing, wouldn't you agree? I agree totally. I agree. There's nights that I, I have trouble sleeping. And if they're not real busy, they'll come in here and sit down. We'll sit and talk for a couple hours, you know, till I'm relaxed down. Till I think, you go back to work so I can sleep now. This becomes your home to where you have new family, right? It has. And uh, it's, 
I don't feel uncomfortable. I'd feel more uncomfortable staying in a hotel than what I am here. Well, you don't have such uh, such fun atmosphere and warm and loving people at a hotel, right? Right. Uh, they can use anything from towels to groceries, things that that last, that not perishables, but uh, detergents. Uh, just normal things. Just normal things we use around the house. Right, exactly. Things you would use at home to keep up a house, to clean it and cook and just like a home, what you would need at your home. I keep taking the microwave microphone away. I start to say microwave the microphone away when you're trying to talk. Well, you know, I don't want to tire you out because, I, first off, thank you for being so brave. And I love that you wanted to talk to folks about Serenity House. Like I said, in the past, I've been here. I've had other friends here. And I think it's a very warm and loving place. Like I said, I can't stress that enough. And you seem to be quite content here. I am happy here. Very happy here. Well, again, I adore you as a friend. I adore you as a person. And I thank you for your bravery. Okay? Guys, you know, again, Serenity House, if you have a loving, volunteering heart, come and volunteer. You know, again, Ann's here. There's, there's, It's a two, and I'm not going to say patient facility. That's a hospital. There's two folks that live here at a time. Uh, I jokingly call this the presidential suite, but, you know, everybody has their own room. And, guys, thank you so much. As always, stay in tune to Channel 7. You know, I always tell you we like to play and cut up and have fun. But, you know, we do have a serious side on occasion. But you know what? We've had fun, though, don't you think? When when are you going to show one that's got a serious side? A good point. Maybe we need to start looking into that serious side. She's such a comedian. <laughs> Guys, again, as always, thank you so much for staying tuned to Channel 7, Marshtown TV today, and we will see you next time.